Hey, welcome back to the Krabby Dice. Today we're gonna to do the playthrough for the Spigastat, which is my one of my favorite Steppenfeld games. So this is a pure auction game where we're gonna be in Hamburg buying goods, trying to sell them to contracts and making victory points. Meanwhile, fighting fires. <laughs> anyway, there's no real thematic ties to this game. It's just a pure auction game. Uh, click on the link below for my final thoughts. I'll take you to the end of this video or again, It'll take you to my other rules video. So three things before we get started. Please like, subscribe, and comment on my YouTube channel. That would be fantastic. Let's get started. All right, welcome to the Spiekerstadt playthroughs. So oh, I'm gonna be playing a three-player game. And like usual, if you've never played, just follow along. I'll teach you how to play for the first four or five rounds, and I'll speed it up uh, near the end of the game. Uh, this is a really cool auction game where the price of the cards fluctuate on what we decide to bid on, right? So let's get started. So in a three-player game, you're only going to fill up four spots here in the river, as you can see with the little meeple icons at the bottom. So let's get started. So one, two, three. So the game is nine or ten rounds, I believe. So let's do it. So uh, purple is going to be first, sort of the person I'm going to be controlling. And then we're just going to be going around the table. So I'm going to hide this card for now. Uh, and basically what you're gonna do on your turn is place a meeple So by placing a meeple there that means you want to bid on that card All right, and the price of the card is gonna be all the other meeples in that column, right? And if you decide not to buy it Then the next person will have a chance at a lower cost and so on and so on and basically I'll just show you <laughs> So let's say I want to buy this carpet trader here Or bid on that so I put my meeple there so you always place it closest to the card and then you just keep going around the table till everyone's played all their meeples so in the base game you only have three meeples so let's get this down so i think yellow is going to go for some firemen so he's going to go over there and yellow i don't think wants him to get the fireman for so cheap so he's going to put his meeple there and then we're going to go back to purple and purple is going to say you know what let me get the one uh, level fireman and then orange is going to say uh, you know what? I'll get the Vulcanizer and then white is gonna say hmm I think I'm gonna double bid on this Fireman here and then purple is gonna go and I think purple is also gonna go here and then yellow is gonna go and I think yellow is gonna go yellow is gonna see that and it's gonna be upset so I think he's gonna go here to raise the price for uh, white and then I think what white is going to do is raise the price of one of these for purple and he's going to go right over here. So there you go. So phase one, let me just explain it from the beginning. Phase one was just putting out the cards. You're going to pretty much do that every time. The only extra thing you need to look out for is fires, but we'll get to that in the fires when they appear. And if there's ships, then we have to actually go into our bag. Got a handy bag of all the goods here. Uh, we're going to fill up the ships. All right, besides that, you're just filling out the cards. Okay, phase two is basically doing this bidding thing. So that's what we just did. All right, now we get to phase three. Phase three is actually paying or deciding if you want to pay for the card. So we go from card to card, left to right, and I'll show you how it's done. So purple could bid on this card for one gold or not <laughs> bid. He can purchase this card for one gold. And the reason is because there's only one meeple in that whole column. You're not forced to buy it, but you know what? For one, why not? So he's gonna take this, he's gonna pay one, so you take this card and add it to his display. Firemen are special, they don't have special powers, you just keep stacking them on top of each other if you get more, so I'm just gonna put them on the side here. All right, then we'll go to the next card. So now purple has a choice. Does he wanna pay two for that card? You know what, he will. All right, so at this point, uh, we're gonna remove the meeples because he decided to pay, so he'll pay two. And he'll take this card, he'll add it to his display area here, and we'll return the meeples to the people. And we'll go to the next card. Alright, so for this one, does orange want to pay two for this card? I think so. So he's going to pay two. Take this card. Alright. Then we're going to go to the next last card here. So, does orange want to pay four for this? No, <laughs> all right, he's not gonna pay all of his cash for a level two fireman. That's a little too high for a fireman. He's gonna take back his guy. Then white's gonna decide, does he wanna pay three for that? He's gonna say no to the first one. It's quite obvious because he's gonna go again right after. So he's gonna say no to three. And that, is he gonna pay for two? 
I think he will. So he's going to pay two. Take the fireman. Add it to his display. Uh, I'm going to put it off screen, but his display is around here. Actually, you know what? Just so that you see it, I'll put it right up here. And then because he bought the card, we'll return everything back. Done. Pretty simple. Phase four is the uh, loading phase, but there's no loading phase until the ships start coming out where we're going to have cubes. So we're going to skip that for now. And then phase five is just the income phase. Pretty simple. Everyone's going to get a coin. All right. If you didn't get a card that turn, you'll actually get a second coin, but everyone got at least one card. And then we're just going to pass the first player marker to the next player. All right, let's start round two. So every round is going to be exactly the same. So phase one is flipping over the four cards. Counting off is Spice Trader. Our first contract is going to come out. And the Tea Trader. Uh, tester, taster. <laughs> All right, and this time it's going to be orange as first player. So now phase two, placing out our meeples. Um, so they already have a Vulcanizer. Um, I think they want to go for those uh, because they know that we're going to go for fireman. Maybe he's going to go for the uh, counting offices instead. So he's going to go there. So now it's going to be white. And they don't have any merchant yet. And it's always a great idea to have at least one to sort of generate you cash later in the game with extra um, supply that you might have. So they're going to decide between these two. There's one of each in the game. So it doesn't really matter at this point. So it'll go on the tea taster. Then we're going to go to purple. And you know what? Purple's going to go for another merchant here. Sure. It's going to go here. And orange is going to go. I think orange is going to try to raise the prices for both of us. So I think he's going to go here first. Then white's going to go. I think white's going to jump for this contract. Then purple's going to go. And I think what purple is going to do is raise the price of the counting office here for orange. And then orange is going to go. Ah, what does orange do? Orange, orange, orange. Um, orange could be super mean and place it on the second card, the last card here again. Because I think white will pass for sure if it's three. Um, but maybe he'll wait for purple to do that. So you know what? He'll make it more difficult for purple right over here. Then we're going to go white. And I think what white's going to do is make it even diff more difficult for everyone else over there as well. Oof, that's going to be expensive. And then purple's going to go. And I think what purple's going to do is... Hmm. See, I don't like that contract because it conflicts with my card. I'd rather use my red on here instead of using it on the contract. So I don't really want that contract. So I think I'm going to just raise the price for the tea taster for everyone else. There you go. All right, that was phase three, phase, uh, sorry, phase two, phase three. We uh, purchased the cards. Now, how much cash does Orange have? Three, four, five, five dollars. He would have to spend three dollars to get that. But that would probably be the only card he'd actually be able to buy down the line. So you can sort of judge how many cards you think you're going to have. So, you know what? He is going to take a chance. He's going to pay three for that. You pay three. So in a three player game, the bids don't get that high. <laughs> I mean, most of the time it's three is the most. Um, but in a five player game, you can have insane like eights because you're stacking these guys all the way to the top. Um, so there and there. So he's going to get this one. This one doesn't really have a power. We're just set collecting them. So we're just going to store it under that just to save some space. Some Something like this. Uh, we'll go to the next card and is purple gonna pay two for that? I think they will or else they won't get a card because they're not gonna get the last one for sure So they're gonna pay two to get this card So what I'm gonna do is just again to save some space we're gonna start uh, collapsing some of these cards together Then yeah, a white is for sure gonna pay one for this contract. This is a great contract to get for just one So again, it's a contract. So I'm gonna hide it up here um and finally we get to the third one so white has a decision they have four dollars uh, but they don't have a merchant and that's the thing the one two three there's going to be one more that comes out in the next round do they just pass and not get it um no you know what they'll get it 
They're gonna pay three. I mean, most of us are gonna be broke. <laughs> I think at this point, don't get the, uh, the tea taster. There you go. And everyone else gets to get. Maybe that was a stupid move. Maybe he should have passed, but you know what? Whatever. <laughs> All right, we skip phase four. We'll go phase five. We're gonna give this to the third player here. He's gonna be the start player. We're gonna give everyone a coin. Now we're only at two and three coins, so we're gonna start passing on a lot of juicy stuff coming up. And that's the end of the round. All right, round three. Let's go a bit faster since now you know how to play. It's gonna be all the contracts with, oh, with a warehouse. I love the warehouse. That's a great card. Um, yeah. So it's White's turn. Uh, the problem is he only has two coins. So what he's gonna do is actually gonna bid on something that he doesn't want. Um. Because he's only got two coins and most likely if you really want something he's not going to be able to afford it because people are going to stack up behind him so what he's going to do is he's just going to go on one of the contracts so he's going to go here just to get rid of a meeple he doesn't really want that spot but whatever <laughs> then purple's going to go and i think he already has two merchants uh what he does want is a contract but he's going to use one of his last meeples on a contract so i think he's going to go for the warehouse because the warehouse is pretty awesome he lets you carry over goods from turn to turn and I think Orange knows that, so he's gonna go right behind. And I think White is gonna do the exact same thing, get behind there. It looks like we're gonna have a little bit of a bidding war on the warehouse. Um, I think Purple's gonna go in behind White over here. I think Orange is gonna Try to get this coffee roaster for cheap. White's gonna say not so fast. Then we're gonna go to purple. And I think purple's gonna jump in behind into this warehouse again. And then orange is going to see only has two coins. Uh three coins. If he gets this contract and then he gets this, he'll have to pass on that. Ugh. But you know what? He'll play it even smarter. He's going to actually go in behind uh, the white over there. All right, so there you go. So we're done. That was phase two. Phase three, we pay for our stuff. So any card that's not been bid on is actually just going to get it, uh, removed from the game, put in a discard pile. Let's put it on the side here. Um, there you go. Uh, all right, so now we'll jump onto the second card here. So does white want that card? We already know he doesn't. That's why he skipped it. So let's skip this one here. So we'll take it back. Now is purple gonna buy it for one? Definitely. We'll pay one to get this card. So you get a nice contract for them to fill up in the future. It's gonna be that maple. Now we're gonna jump to this one. So does does orange want to pay three for that? Definitely not. So he's gonna take back his meeple. Does white want to pay his two meeple uh, two for that? <sighs> They'd rather take a chance and try to get the warehouse for two. Um. Yeah, so that's what he'll do. He'll pass. And then, is he going to get it for one? He definitely will. So let's stack these cards up together. Sort of something like that. Alright, then we'll jump to the last one here. So I can't afford four, so I'm going to pass for sure on this. Orange can't afford three, so he's going to pass for sure on this. And now... White's got a decision to make. Did he completely go broke for that warehouse? Um, I guess so. It'll make them more vers. It'll give them more versatility in the future to store stuff to try to complete contracts. So they're gonna actually pay two. So they're gonna go broke to try to get this. So I'm playing very loose with uh, with White over here. There you go. All right, there you go. So now load phase, nothing. Income phase, we each get a coin. We're always gonna, seems like buying one card each every round. Maybe next round it'll start changing for white because they have no money. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pass this back to the first player here and we're gonna start the B deck next round. All right, what is this, round four now? Oh, so we hit our first fire. Okay, so we actually halt. So fire, fire. So what's gonna happen if whoever has the most a firefighter so it's gonna be white here it's gonna score one point because that's a one point fire so 
He's on the board. Now, whoever has the least is going to lose a point because it's a one. So that's going to be yellow. They're going to lose a point. There you go. So now we discard this from the game. So we'll throw it back in the discard. Now we're just going to keep playing. Fireman, 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 and a ship. So when you get a ship, what you're going to do is you're going to go in the bag and you're going to fill up the ship. So um, let's go one, two, three. And it's three random cubes. So is white good for anyone? There's white is great for ye uh, yellow and not great for white. And I can use one and brown. I can use white and a brown and then carry over the white for the next thing. So this is actually pretty good for me as well. And it's just a lot of cash for yellow. Because if he wins this, you can basically turn that in for three gold. So as long as you can win that for less than, let's say, one or one or less, you can net a profit. All right, but we're not looking at just that. There's also firemen of one, two, and three. So, wow. Okay, so it seems like uh, maybe the deck wasn't shuffled that well, but all the firemen of deck B, I think, have come out. Um, so purple is first. And what is he going to do? Well, I mean, it looks like maybe we're all going to get a fireman this round. Um, I think what I want is to maybe get the two at the very least. Uh, but you know what? Let me bid one on the one. Let me see if I can get it for one. Uh, then orange is going to go and they really want the ship. So they're going to go on the ship. See if he can get it for one or less. Actually, wait. He's not going to do that because he's going to see if he can get it for one. So he can net a profit off of it. So he's actually going to bid on the fireman first. Um, then white's going to go. White's got almost no cash. And actually, white doesn't mind losing all of these auctions to get two coins next turn. Uh, or get something for one. Well, he's only got one coin. So he's, I think, just going to raise the prices for everyone. So he's going to go in here. I don't think he's going to have an intention of actually getting any pro uh, products this turn. Although he could get the ship and put it all in his warehouse to use in a falling round. Which isn't such a bad idea. Uh, then it's going to be purple. Uh, I think purple is just gonna keep spreading stuff around here. It's gonna go there. It's gonna be orange. Orange is gonna jump on his ship now. And then white again is just gonna try to raise prices for people. So he's gonna go here. And then purple is gonna go. You know, I don't mind going here. Then orange is gonna say, let's see if I can get that for one. So he's gonna go behind then white is going to raise the price of uh what is white gonna raise the price of so i think he's just gonna go if he can get that fireman three for only one coin that'd be pretty good because definitely orange is not gonna pay three coins for that fireman um uh ba, 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 ba. I guess so. So that's what he's going to do. He's actually going to place it here. There you go. And there you go. We're done. So now we're going to go from left to right. So fireman here. I think purple's actually going to pass on the level one. And he's going to actually get the level two one instead. So he's going to pass on here. So he's not going to pay. And if there's no meeples left and the card is still there, you just discard it. Then he's going to pay one for this one. So I'll take a level two for one coin. That's pretty good. Then we'll go here. So definitely uh he's not gonna pay three for this one then he's obviously gonna pass and then you know what for one coin he will take it one coin for a level three fireman that's pretty good so he's already at five so i don't think he's gonna worry about fires for the, the next uh, few turns so he can't afford this one so he passes white that can't afford it purple this now i have a choice do i go completely broke um to get that or do I leave it for orange I think I am gonna go broke I think that's probably my best bet so I am gonna take this card all right so I'm gonna take the card and slide everything over so I'm gonna hide my fireman down here slide everything over slide everything over and there you go 
So that's the end of the round. So now we do the loading phase. Now I'll show you a bit of the loading phase because we actually have cubes on some of our cards. So I need to take care of all these cubes or I'm going to end up losing them. So cubes can only be uh, stored in your warehouses or in your, um, I forget what this card is called, uh, or else you end up losing them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to carry a white cube and store it in my warehouse here. And for the other two cubes, I'm going to store them on the contract. So once you put them on a contract, they cannot be moved anymore. They're stuck there. So I just need a yellow cube for the end of the game and I'll score eight points here. And there you go. Let's go to income phase. So I'm going to get $1. White's going to get $1. And yellow actually didn't gain anything. So they're going to actually gain two bucks. So now they're going to be full of cash. And unfortunately, they're going to also be first player. <laughs> All right. So there you go. All right. Next round. Let's do it. With another counting office that's great for uh for yellow and he's got a ton of cash so that's pretty good oh another ship let's get some cubes and another ship let's get more cubes so one two three one two three Ooh, the yellow cube that i need and actually the yellow and red is great for me because i can end up making more money uh I also need a contract for white or so I'm gonna be stuck with that uh, with that white cube on my uh, my place for a while all right so let's go so uh, orange is gonna go first and they need a contract and they also need a ship um, I mean he can get the middle one here it'll just generate him cash but he doesn't care about cash I think what he's gonna focus on is maybe these two and these three so he doesn't really care about the last ship here so the one he cares about the least is the the ship so he'll put it on there first and now mr white on the other hand really likes the last one because that one has the uh, stuff he needs for his contract um, but he doesn't want to bid on it right away to show his hand so actually what he's going to do is go on the counting office here and it's going to be purple and i think purple doesn't really care about anything uh, maybe the last one because they'll give him coins but anything else he'll just pass so he can get some cash I guess so what he's gonna do is actually gonna go on the uh, the ship here why not just to raise the price for yellow and then yellow is gonna go on the contract because he's pretty sure nobody's gonna raise a bid on the contract but white says you know what I will I will raise the bid on the contract for you and that sucks for orange and then purple is gonna say um you know for one coin i will try to get the counting office and orange is like you know what i will oh well orange knows if he goes on the counting office he's going to be able to get it for one because uh both me and white won't be able to afford it so that's definitely what he's going to do he's going to jump there perfect for him then white's going to go last and white's going to be like damn you um uh, so he has a couple of choices he can either go on this one which he knows he's gonna lose or go on the first one to raise the price uh for orange <sighs> i think he's gonna go raise the price he knows if he comes here he's gonna end up losing because purple's just gonna go behind him right so it's kind of a useless move so i think he, what he's gonna do to be more proactive he's gonna go over there just to raise the price for orange and then purple is gonna say thank you very much i'm gonna go on the last one all right here we go so that was phase two, phase three. We're gonna go here. So can't afford it, pass. Can't afford it, pass. Is he gonna buy it for two? He's looking at his uh, coins. He's gonna have to pay two for that, two for that, and two for that. So he can't afford all of it. Uh, but this one he can pay two and just net a red. So I think he's gonna actually skip on this one. So he's gonna pay two here and pay two here and skip on that one so that's what he's gonna do he's gonna pay two to get the counting office so now this is worth five points for him let me just put it on this card and we'll do it just like that why not we'll get our guys back and now for this one now he's got to decide does he really want this one or does he want this one this one is he just wanted to see if he can get it for one so he can net a profit with his coins but i don't think he wants it for two uh, so I think he's going to pay two for the contract. He's going to pay two. 
to the contract. So there you go. He got his first contract. So we'll put it here. Remove the card out. All right. And then we'll get to this one. I think he's going to pass on this. Well, he has no choice. And I think purple is going to pass as well. They're sort of going to decide which one they want. And I think that one's more interesting for them because they can actually sell the stuff for cash, uh, which would be more interesting. And they won't be able to store the... Uh, although they're going to end up losing the brown. Uh, yeah. All right. So they're going to actually... Yeah, they're going to lose the brown either way. So they're going to pass on this one. So the goods all go to a... It's called a stockpile. So... I'm just going to use this area here as the stockpile. And you know what? I might move the coins there so I have more space after as well. This card's going to get discarded. And I think purple is going to pay a coin for this ship. And the ship's going to come over here. And I'm going to stack these ships just like everything else, just to save some space. Okay, there you go. Uh, that was the purple's guy. Okay, now the loading phase. So I'm going to show you with, again, I'm the only one with ships. So I'm going to show you what happens. So what I think what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to use the red and yellow here to get a coin for each. So I paid one to net one coin. Is that a good use of my coins? Who knows? <laughs> so uh, I do have a brown. What I can do is I can actually use both of these. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use both of these to get another coin. So I'm going to net basically two coins for that. So I'm going to discard these two for a coin, discard this for a coin, and discard this for a coin and not carry over any goods. So that's going to be three coins. So one, two, three. All right. And now it's the alternative. I could have put a yellow on here uh, instead of getting the coin. No, I'm good. I think I'd, I'd prefer getting money so I can be more versatile in the future. So uh, now it's the uh, blah 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 the income phase so we're all gonna get one except for uh, I believe yellow didn't even get a card so they're gonna get another one. Uh, white didn't get a card so they'll get another coin and there you go that's the end of the round all right new round I forgot to move the starting player marker it's gonna be white so let's flip over the cards again it's a bunch of contracts coming up we got a ship and another ship. So ships are great. Get more goods in the game. Um, so let's do it. One, two, three, and one, two, three. Oh wow, three yellow. That is horrible. <laughs> I think the only person that's gonna want that is somebody with a warehouse, because it's pretty useless for everyone else. Because or I actually I don't mind it. If I can get it for one or two, I can actually net a profit with the yellows because every yellow is an extra dollar for me. So I think that's going to be a fight between me and white for that one. But I don't think white's in a rush to get it because they're going to fill up the warehouse full of yellow. Probably not their best idea. All right. So anyway, I'm not going to waste any more time. White is going to go first and they really need stuff. They don't mind the, uh, the this ship here because uh, they can use the red on their ship and they can use the green to get coins. So as long as they can get this for maybe one or two, it'll be worth their while. Uh, but I think what they're going to do right now is bid on something they don't really want. So let's just say they want that one. Um, so I think what purple is going to do is they don't mind getting another contract because this one's almost done and you sort of always want a contract ready to fill it up as you go. Uh, so I think they're going to come on the cheap one here. And I don't think anyone's going to bid more than one for this. Or somebody might, but then purple will just pass on it. Uh, then yellow really wants something. So this needs yellow, green, doesn't need red. Nothing here is actually great for yellow. Uh, so I think what they're going to focus on is maybe the uh, contracts because any of these goods that they get, you can end up just maybe discarding three to get one of anything just to fill up their contract. It's not great. Um, so what they're going to do is actually go on this one and see what happens. So white's going to go. I think white's going to go for another contract. Then now I'm going to go and I think I will put one here and see if I can get those three yellows for one or two so I can net a profit after. Uh, then it's going to be 
orange. We already know orange is going to try to get a contract. So they're going to try to get an eight point contract. So they're going to go there. Maybe they're going to spread all their guys around. Then white's going to go. And I think white needs some goods. So they're going to go here. Then purple's going to go. And I think purple is just going to make it more expensive for everyone else right over here. And then finally orange is going to go and You know what, I think they're going to just try to make it expensive over here, like that. Alright, here we go. So, uh, I think orange might get screwed, it won't be able to get anything. Or maybe they'll get this contract. So let's go card by card, so the first card is going to resolve. Uh, purple is actually going to pass on this, uh, I think orange is going to get it for one. So now they got a couple of contracts that they want to fulfill. Maybe not the best idea, but uh, let's see what happens. Now on the second one, um, let's see, if he pays two, then he knows purple is going to get that one for, so now he sort of has to decide, does he want to store three, although he could get these ones because orange won't be able to afford it. Yeah, you know what, he'd rather get these ones because he can use them for contracts and stuff. Uh, than getting a contract. So he's going to pass on this. And you know what? I think orange is going to pass on it as well. Then we'll go to this one. Orange is going to pass. And I think white will pay two for these cubes. So let's put it here. So we can get a net of profit here. Um, and then these guys get returned. And finally we go here, so he's going to pass here, and definitely purple will pay one for this. So look at this, purple's got a ton of ships already, he definitely wants it, uh, I think it's called the customs house or something, where it's uh, you get a point for every ship that you got during the game. <laughs> and I think he's going to definitely do that. Alright, so now we go to the loading phase, again we're going to deal with our cubes. Um, I think what purple's going to do, they're going to store a yellow. They're going to use a yellow on this contract here. So because I've completed the contract, I'm just going to move it off the board so that I don't waste space here. Just It's just on the side of the board. And then their last one, they're going to actually use it to get a dollar. Ta-da. I'm going to jump to player two, who does not, again, have any cubes whatsoever. So he's going to pass. Let me move this contract down. And then we're going to go to player 3 who finally got some cubes and I think he's going to start filling up some contracts. So this is going to go here. And you know, instead of getting coin, you know, uh, he's going to store one and get one cube so he can actually pay for stuff next turn. So he's going to get a cube here. All right, there you go. Uh, let's do the income phase. So we all got a card, so we're all going to make one coin. Now, orange is in a bit of a hurting situation right now. They're going to need a way to generate uh, more coins and more uh, ships. Uh, we'll see what he can do. Uh, we're going to pass the first player marker to the first player over here. And we're going to come back. All right, so new round. Now we're on the C deck. So the cards are going to get better and better as we go. So we got another ship. Got another ship. And we got a four fireman. It's pretty good. And we got another contract. So let's get some cubes for those ships. So one, two, three. One, two, three. So it's red and green. That's actually good for me. Um, let's see. Uh, that's not great for me. That's actually great for, uh, he needs this one badly. All right, we'll see how that works out. So I'm first player and I just really need a contract. I don't really care about any of those ships. So I'm going to focus on these two things. I think I'm just going to go back and forth over here a bit. I'm going to go there. Orange desperately needs this ship here. Um, I think that's his whole goal for this round. I think that'll produce some money and get his contracts started and completed. He can actually put all of those goods on this one contract here, which would be fantastic. 
Uh, so I think he's gonna go on the. <sighs> I think he's just gonna go here to raise the price for another contract. He doesn't actually want the contract, just raising the prices. Uh, and then White's gonna go. Let's see, let's see, let's see. So what do they need? They need Brown. They need a way to get Brown. They don't mind getting another contract as well. Uh, and green's not bad for them. They can get a coin for it. So uh, I think they'll go there. And purple's gonna go. Um, I think I really want that contract. So I'm just gonna go in behind there. Then we're gonna go orange. And I think orange is going to show his hand at this point. Well, he doesn't have to. I think he's gonna go here and see what happens. Then white's gonna go. And I think white is going to go on the, well, he doesn't care about firemen actually. He's got so many, he's got five already. Um, you know, he's gonna go on the first one. And then I'm gonna go and I think, <sighs> I don't mind getting this for one because then I can sell those two goods for a coin. And then, actually, if I win that contract as well, if I win this and this, I'll be able to use the red and the green. So I'm definitely gonna wanna get this ship here. And then orange is gonna go, and I think they're gonna jump here. And then white is going to... Oh, uh, what does white wanna do? White needs the brown. White needs the brown. White needs the first one. He doesn't care about the second one, although... He doesn't care about the firemen, so he's going to skip on that. Does he need another contract? You know what? He'll raise the price on the contract over here. Alright, so let's do it. Um, so, uh, let's go the first one here. So, does White want to pay two for this? Um... He knows he's gonna wanna pay two for this and he's only got three. So he's gotta basically choose. Does he want this ship or this ship? I think he wants this ship more than this ship. Uh, although this one's more versatile for him, but this one will give him coins and he'll be able to store his red. So you know what, he'll pass to help out orange here. <laughs> then orange will pay a coin to get this ship. If I can ever pick it up. So. That was white really helping out orange. If not, orange would have basically just passed on everything, I think. There you go. Um, then we're gonna go on this one and I think he will pay two for that. I'm gonna run out of space eventually here. Then we're gonna go here. Does he wanna pay his last coin for four firemen? It is going to be a two point swing because the fire is going to come out on round C and it is going to be a two point fire. Uh, does he abandon getting fires all along throughout the game? Let's see, for one coin, but he doesn't want to be broke. So you know what, he is not going to pay for it. He's going to let it slide. He's going to say, screw firemen, I'm not going to care for about them. Then we're going to jump to this one, definitely purple is not going to pay for that he's not gonna pay for this so now purple has a choice purple can actually pass on this so that he can get an extra coin afterwards and I think that's what he's gonna do he's actually gonna pass so they can get two coins in the income phase um, because he's not getting any cubes and he doesn't really care which contract he gets in the future so he'll pass and I think white uh, he is gonna pay for this contract he's gonna get a second contract like that all right, there you go. So now we do the loading phase. And I think what... Uh, I think what... Uh, maybe... Yeah, I think what uh, yellow is gonna, orange is gonna do is like this. So he's gonna discard this for a coin. He's gonna keep these two on this contract to hopefully finish it by end of the game. And now let's look at the next player here. I think they're definitely going to store one here. They're going to store the red one here. 
they're gonna keep a red one and because they have no more coins they're actually gonna sell this green one for a coin here all right there you go so income phase this switches over purple is actually gonna get two coins because they didn't get a card last turn and the other two players are gonna get a coin each so purple is rich purple's got seven coins so you can be really selective on what he wants in the future all right let's go to the next round all right next round by the way i moved the bank over there <laughs> just if you were wondering i'll move the discard pile up a little just to give myself a little more room to play with here we go so let's fill up the harbor here so we're gonna have one ship a level three fireman and another ship so let's get some cubes you guys get the point now well i hope so anyway All right, so before we draft here, let's see. Are any of these ships good for my guy? I can use the red for money, but the brown is kind of useless for me. I do need a contract, that's for sure. Um, let's see, brown and green does not work for me at all. So I think this round I'm gonna focus in on those contracts and the fireman and let's see everyone else. Uh, my buddy here really needs this one and he doesn't need the red at all so he's gonna focus in on this ship and the guy over here he needs yellow and brown and unfortunately he wants this one as well so they're both gonna be fighting for this ship because he needs it for his uh his contracts and he's got the green guy to give him money so this is actually excellent for him all right so let's get going um uh, it's actually gonna be orange first player i don't know if this is orange or yellow it's like a mix of the two or something um so what does he want uh he has absolutely no use for this he could get a con i think he wants the fireman too so he can sort of tie me as the lowest uh so he wants to focus in on these two so i think he's going to start off with the fireman he does only have three dollars and he notices that i have seven so it's going to be hard to sort of outbid me on anything uh, especially since i'm last so i'm pretty much going to pay less than everyone else um so he really wants uh that one as well uh, they only have two coins uh, I think I think I think I think I think he doesn't want to show his hand right away so he's just gonna go on the uh, raising prices for everyone else uh, met methodology your first meeple you can sort of do that because you don't want to go first in line and everyone's gonna go behind you and you're just gonna end up wasting him to dump him into the uh, into the supply anyway um what i'm gonna do is i really need a contract so i'm just gonna go straight for contracts next we're gonna come to orange and orange ah orange really needs that one does he go for it now or does he wait um because if he puts this as his last one he might get outbid by uh white so you know what he is gonna go here and then white's gonna jump on behind to make it more expensive. And I'm free to do what I like. So I think I'm going to, I'm actually gonna raise the price of this fireman for everyone. And then orange, what's orange gonna do? Uh, I think orange is going to, he really wants to ship. But he doesn't want to go there to raise the price and it's his last meeple. Because if he go, if white goes there, he's going to have to pay three for this. So he's fine with that, right? Because if he pays three for this, that's all his money, but he gets exactly what he wants. So I think he's go, okay. Um, so what he's going to do, he's going to raise the price of this for everyone else. Then white's going to go. Ah, oh, man. I think what White's gonna do, he's gonna come to the ship over here and just fill up his warehouse to get ready for the next uh, contract cards that he might get. And I'm last. Um, you know, as last player, what I'm gonna do is, I can be super mean and make him pay three, but I know I'm gonna end up losing that meeple. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna come here. Now, you know what, I'm gonna, no, I'm gonna pay two for that, that's fine. Uh, yes, yeah, so let me be mean. I'm gonna come over here and see what happens. All right, so let's resolve. Uh, white 
Does White want this? I don't think he... Uh, I think he does. He's gonna pay one to get this card. And you know what? I'll just do his loading step for us right now. <laughs> He's just gonna dump it all in his warehouse. Uh, actually, his brown he can put on his contract. But you know what? He'll actually wait to do that for next round. Maybe there's something else he can do with the brown. Uh, that's this one. Then I'm gonna go. I will obviously spend a dollar for a contract. So I'll add it to my contract area here. I'll actually place my contracts here so you can see them. So they're not out of the way. So I can actually place my yellow one here. I'll show you that. That's during the loading step, but I'll just do it now. Um, next, Fireman. Obviously, Orange doesn't want it. White can't afford that price. It gets to me. And you know what? I could afford it, so why not? I'm going to pay two to get this Fireman. So now I have, I'll bring this up here. I have six, so I'm actually beating his five. Uh, let me put his up here so you can see them. There you go, I'm running out of space. Um, so that was that, that's this one. And then we get to this one, and I think orange will pay his three to get this, because that's just too perfect for him. And I think what he's gonna do is this, this, you know what, because it's 11 points, he will finish this contract here and uh, just get it over with. All right, put a ship over here. But he's broke. Uh, so we all got a card, so that's fine. So now we do the loading step. So I already did it for everyone. You know, you can sort of do it as you get the cards. No no point in waiting time, uh, wasting time. And then we get the income, which is a coin for everybody. So orange is broke. All right, and that's it for the round. All right, new round. So let's do it. Oh, it's a fire. So we got to compare, stop, compare. Uh, I have six, I have the most, so I'm gonna gain two points because that's the, the number here. One, two. Uh, last place is gonna be orange. So I'm gonna go back to, there you go. And we dump this into the discard pile. And we still gotta get four cards. One, two. Three, and four. Okay, this is a new card. This is the bank. Basically, every income phase, you'll get an extra coin. That's about it. I'm gonna get three cubes from the bag. Uh, so that actually does not help me at all. I don't need <laughs> yellow or red unless I get this contract here. Oops. So if I get this contract here, I can actually store two out of the three on the card itself. Now this contract looks horrible for me. I wouldn't mind getting this, this, and this. Let's see, for second player here, he needs a yellow cube, but he has no real use for those two reds. Um, I think what he's gonna do is basically buy nothing so he can get more coins, because none of those actually help him, unless he can get the bank to get more money. So he might dump all his meeples on the bank to try to get it for one. Uh, and then this player here needs yellow and brown. Yeah, so maybe he'll get another contract. Uh, he can get the brown from there, but then he wouldn't. He could actually, actually he can't do anything with that. <laughs> all, right. <laughs> all right, actually all three of those line up perfectly with my merchant. So actually I can sell all those goods if I wanted. But uh, that's how it is. Okay, so first player is gonna be my buddy here on the right, the white player. So they're gonna go. Um, I mean, nothing here is great. I think they're just gonna go for contracts then. Uh, but you know what? I think everyone's gonna take a chance at this bank because the bank is just too good to pass up. So white's gonna go. Then I'm gonna go. Um, I think I'm just gonna go get another contract maybe. So I'm gonna go there. Then orange. Again, Orange only wants to win this bank this round. I, don't, I think he's gonna end up dumping all his guys on the first one. Then White's gonna go. Um, he could get another contract. There's no real, no other reason for him not to. So he's gonna go here. It's gonna be my turn here. I'm gonna actually see if I can get this for a dollar. If I get this for a dollar, I can pretty much sell them all for three dollars. So I'll net two bucks. Even though I am rich and I can afford it, whatever. So orange is gonna go. 
Um, I think orange is just gonna start making it more expensive for everyone else. So which one does he want to attack? I think he's gonna attack this one here. Then white's gonna go. I think they're gonna go here. Then I'm gonna go. Um, oh, so let me try to get the bank too. So I'm gonna go here. And then orange is gonna go, he's gonna go here. All right, here we go. So you're gonna see that I might get three cards out of this round and everyone else is gonna get zero. Um, so that was the deployment, uh, phase two. Now let's do phase three, the purchasing phase. Okay, so white can obviously not afford this. Orange cannot afford this. White three can't afford this. All right, yummy. So I can actually afford the bank, but should I bother wasting my money? So that's going to cost me two, that's going to cost me one, and that's going to cost me two. So that's going to cost me all my five coins if I buy everything on the table, and I think I'll do it, because the banks can give me more coins. So that's the luxury of having a lot of coins. Uh, you'll be very flexible. So I'm going to keep this, uh, put it here. So that's going to cost me two. I got no issues paying for that. All right. So I, orange is for sure going to get two coins at the end of the round and I think white as well because they're going to actually pass on this. They're just going to try to get coins. It's going to get discarded. Then for this, I'm going to pay a dollar for sure to get this contract. You know, I'll put my coinage underneath the fireman here. And then for this one, I'll actually pay my last two coins for this to pick this up. All right, loading phase. Well, I'm the only one that bought anything this round, so this will be quick. Uh, I'm just gonna load this in. So I'm gonna get that there. I'm gonna put that there. I got a red left over. I'm actually gonna, uh, I can either sell it for a coin or hold on to it. I don't think I'm gonna need red again for the rest of the game. So you know what? I'm actually gonna sell it for a coin. Maybe get some income back that I lost there. All right, there, there you go. This is the end of the round, we go to the income phase. Uh, both of these guys are gonna get two coins because they didn't buy a card, or they didn't get a card. And I'm gonna get two coins as well because I got the bank. Boom, there you go. So three, three, and four. Uh, we're gonna pass the first player marker to me. And there's a round. Okay, next round, let's do it. Four more cards. Two, three, four. All right, these are all great cards. So now we're in the D deck. So the D deck is awesome. I love all the cards in the D deck. So we got another counting office, which is fantastic for the second player here. Uh, we got a building here that's just great in general. It's three straight points and don't have to do anything for it. And then you got another fireman of three. Uh, for that one, I just want to prevent uh, Mr. White from gaining it because uh, I'm actually leading overall right now. And finally, the last one here is which I think I'm going to make a hard play for is uh, a point for each of your ships. Now I already have four and maybe I'll get another one. So it's like a five point card for me, which is fantastic. This one here is a four point card for the second player here, which is great. And another accounting office is coming up soon. So you might be able to get that one too. All right. So I'm first player. Let me uh, make the first move of the game. And uh, you know what? I mean, I'm just going to go straight for the three pointer. You know what? If I can get three points for one coin, that'll be fantastic. So now we're going to go to orange. And pretty much everyone knows orange wants this counting office and all the other players really don't care. So he's going to go there and maybe somebody will raise the price, but I don't think they're going to go hard on it. Um, I think white is going to actually go for the fireman. Then it's my turn. I think I'm going to go for the one that I really want here. Um, I think orange is sort of given up on fireman because he's got five. I got six. Even with that three, he's still in last. So he's not going to waste his time there. Um, I think he's just going to raise prices and try to get stuff for cheap. He's going to go there. Then the white guy is actually going to raise prices here. Yeah. 
Well, he knows that I'm probably going to raise the price for orange. So what he's going to do is he's going to raise the price for me. And then I'm going to raise the price for orange. Then orange is going to say, you know what? I'm going to raise the price for you. So we're all raising each other's prices. And finally, uh, white is going to... White knows orange wants this. He's going to pay the three for it, no matter what. Or you can raise the price for me for this card. So I won't get that card. Um, so which price does he want to raise? Uh, you know what? He's going to go here because he knows he's going to be able to get it for one coin instead of two because orange is not going to end up getting this. So that was a pretty smart move there by white. All right, so let's go. Let's resolve. Phase three. This card, orange, is definitely going to pay two for it. He's going to take the card. Maybe we should have made it more expensive for him, but... Eh. we were nice <laughs> we were nice then this one here now I gotta decide do I want that card I don't think I do I'd rather get this card and it's gonna cost me two so that's gonna cost me two and two I don't have four coins I only have three so I'm gonna pass and orange is I guess he's gonna buy it for one coin it's pretty good return three points for one coin sure let's keep it I'm gonna hide it underneath one of his contracts here there you go that was this one so now he's broke uh so now for this one uh he's gonna pass orange has no money he's gonna pass and then white's gonna go and buy it for a coin for sure so now he's in the lead so he's got eight to my six so i'm gonna need at least two more to beat him and then we get to the last one which i'm definitely gonna buy for two get a meeples back and this is a five point card for me or a four point card now but it should be a five going further I'll just hide this under a contract here. And there you go. Uh, we're going to pass this to the next player. Let's give out some money. So we all want a card. Yeah. So one coin, one coin. And I'm going to make two coins because I got the bank. There you go. All right. We're getting close to the end of the game. There's probably, let's see, one, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four. There's three rounds left. So let's see what we can do in three rounds. Oh, there's the other ah, fire. So we stop. So uh, white's going to get three points. One, two, three. And yellow's going to move through, uh, lose three. One, two, three. I think orange is kind of screwed. He's going to end up being at negative 10 because there's no way for him to dig himself out of this hole. Uh, which will probably make him lose the game because it's very hard to catch up from there. Unless he gets a ton of these point cards. But with no money, it's going to be very hard to do. Uh, I've got to fill up my cubes here. One, two, three, and one, two, three. All right, so what do I need? I need brown and two whites. Well, either of those ships work perfectly for me. I love it. Uh, I'm actually more interested. Actually, they're exactly the same because I can't really do much with the... Uh, actually, the yellow works out better because I can actually... So this is the one I'm z zeroing in zeroing in on i think i definitely want that one so orange is first player orange just needs a yellow and there's only one thing with a yellow but he does want the counting office to score 14 points and that'll take a huge chunk out of the negatives that he's in so um i think that's what he's gonna do unfortunately he only has a coin <laughs> so it's gonna be really tough for him to get it um you know he's gonna start off here Try to spread his guys around. Let's see, my friend over here needs a brown and a yellow. Oh, he wants this one too. All right, so it's gonna be a bidding war for sure and he has the most money. So let's see what happens. So he's gonna go here. Um, let's see, white and brown. I can use it too, white and brown. Yeah, I can use this one actually. I don't think I'm gonna join that bidding war, but I will make it more expensive for them. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha! Brown wants that too because he can make more money and try to catch up on money. Because both of those white and brown, actually both of them work, work for him. But he's only got one coin left, so let him spread things around. Um, white really wants that spot. I think what they're gonna do is he definitely wants that spot he's gonna go there 
he he needs it. He that's what he needs. All right, that's the one he wants. That's what he's gonna go for. Uh, then it's gonna be my turn. I think I'm gonna go here. And then orange is gonna go. <sighs> what does orange do? Orange needs. Orange really wants this one as well. <sighs> so let him go here. See if he can get it for a coin. I doubt he will, because if he gets this for a coin, then he won't be able to get this. Then white's gonna go. Ah, <sighs> and I think what white's gonna do is make it more expensive for me. I think that's what he's gonna do. And then what I'm gonna do is make it more expensive for orange here. So I think we just screwed all of orange, unless orange buys this card. All right, so there you go. We put our meeples, phase three, we're gonna buy. So, do I want this one? Yes, I'll pay anything for that. I'm gonna take that ship, add it to my long line of ships here. I'm gonna deal with these later. Next, uh, orange. He's only got a coin, so he can't afford it. Will I buy that for a coin? This is just basically gonna be two points for me. I don't think there's any other accounting offices. Is one gold worth two points? No. So I'm gonna discard this. And not spend my money. Then we're gonna jump to this. Uh, he knows I can't afford it, so he's gonna actually gonna pass to this one. Then I gotta pass, and then he's definitely gonna buy it for two. So do that. And now orange has to decide: is one coin worth four points? Yeah, you know what? It is. He's gonna keep this. Uh, if I can ever lift up his contract here and slide it under, just like that. All right, loading phase. So let's deal with this. So I'm gonna do white, brown, and I'm gonna keep the green one in my little shed here. So I just need one more white and I'm pretty much gonna satisfy all my contracts. Um, there you go. Now here he didn't get a ship and now over here, let's see what he can do. He needs a yellow and a brown. So he finishes those contracts and he's got extra stuff. He's got, he's got no use for any of these. So what he's going to do is he's actually going to sell these two for a coin and store this one here. So he's going to get rid of this for a coin and there you go. He's done. So, Income phase, we're all gonna get a coin, except for me, I'm gonna get two, like usual. Boom, just like that. And we're gonna pass the first player marker to Mr. White, and there you go. All right, two rounds left. I wonder what's in store for us. Another ship, another ship, a commerce building, and another ship. Wow, the ships all came out at the end of the game right when you don't need them. <laughs> right when you don't need them to come out. Um, so I gotta fill up the bags. So I just need a white. Uh, the second player here needs a yellow and the third player here pretty much finished all his contracts so he doesn't really care. Uh, and I think those are the last two cubes. So use up every single cube in the bag in the base game, every single time. All right, so the bag's gonna be completely empty. All right, um, so let's do it. Uh, so white's first, what does he really need? He needs, maybe he'll go for the commerce building because he's gonna have a ton of cash at the end and he'll sell a bunch of his things. Actually, he needs one good of anything just to score that extra point with his warehouse. Um, he could get green, he can sell for points. To be fair, he doesn't really care which ship he gets as long as he gets a ship, so uh, he's gonna look around the table. Does anyone need anything specific? Uh, probably not. So what he's gonna do is he's just gonna go on this one. I'll probably get that ship for one because nobody cares about that one. I'm gonna go. I just need a white. So I'm gonna go for this one or this one. Uh, I just need a white. So I don't really care. So let me go here. Maybe I'll spread it around. <laughs> now orange just needs a yellow. Uh, so he's gonna go here. We'll see what happens. And then white. It's gonna make it more expensive for me. Actually, no, they wanna go in the commerce building for sure. They want that one. Uh, maybe they'll score extra points. And I'm gonna go. Um, 
and I will make it more expensive here for white then orange is gonna go make it more expensive for actually make it more expensive for both of us and then white's gonna go and you know what that was that was a favor for white because now they know if they go to the back of the line here they're gonna get this card for sure for one because orange won't be able to afford it so that was a great move by white pretty terrible move by yellow or orange and then I'm gonna go and I think What should I do? I think I'm just going to make it more expensive for white for something here. And then finally orange is going to go. You know what? He screwed him over. He's going to make him even more expensive there. There you go. We're done. So let's go to the second last uh, buying round here. So orange is going to definitely buy that for a coin. here it's gonna take these three goods and I'm definitely gonna buy that for a coin then white's gonna pass I'm gonna pass orange is gonna pass and white's gonna buy this card for a coin I'll put it up here and then finally this one yellow will uh, white will pay three for that because he really needs it Now loading steps. So here we go. So white here. Now I'm gonna have two cubes left over. Uh, I think what I'm doing, I'm just gonna sell these two for a coin, because none of these really match the the merchants that I have. So I have no choice but to sell these two for one coin. All right. Uh, so we're good here. Then we're gonna load here. So I think he's gonna store his yellow here and unfortunately also these two don't match up with his merchant so just so that he can have some coins for next turn he'll actually sell both of these for a coin as well now we're gonna get to mr white who's gonna why did he take these cubes who knows um oh yeah he needed to place one in his warehouse for a point and i think he's gonna store one in his local warehouse here and then he's gonna use his green in his merchant to get a gold all right so end of round we're gonna each get a coin but i'm gonna get two all right there you go uh we're gonna pass the first player marker all right so that was the last round of the game because what's gonna happen is because the draw deck is only three cards you're gonna flip it over and as soon as this card comes up, it's actually going to end the game. All right. So you don't even resolve these cards. So uh, the biggest fire uh, squad is going to be Mr. White over here. So they're going to gain four points. And <laughs> Orange is going to lose four, which is going to hurt. I don't know how he's going to catch up. And now we go to end game scoring. So I'll show you end game scoring with uh, each player. Okay. So we have this player here. Let's just look at his play area. So let's score. So he's got three counting off. So he's going to score nine points. All right. So he's going to be a negative one. All right. Now he's going to get two points for each of his merchants. So one, two. Now this contract is going to score him five because it's completed. One, two, three, four, five. This one's going to score him 11 because it's completed. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And then he's going to get seven points because of these two buildings that uh, give him points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. He's done. So now we're going to go to white. All right. They're going to get, um, I don't, yeah, I gave everyone coins at the end of that round, I think, but <laughs> he's going to score a merchant. That's going to be two coins. So one, two. All right. He's going to get one point per good in his warehouse. So that's four. One, two, three, four. Um, uh, he's going to get five plus eight. He's going to get 13 points because of his contracts One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 13 and then his merchants can give him one and I think that's it uh, I'll double check the video if I gave him his coin that would have just been an extra point but we'll see if that even matters so now we're gonna go to purple and we're gonna start here on the top so it's gonna be eight points for this contract 
Five points for this one. 11 points for this one. Yeah, I think I ran away with this one. So that's gonna be five, 10, 11. Every ship's gonna give me a point. Two, three, four, five, six. And then I'm gonna get two more points because of my merchants. And I think that's it. I don't think I'm forgetting anything. So there's the game. If I forgot something, I'll come back. Uh, let's go to my thoughts. All right, thoughts time for the Spiegerstadt. Well, this game is awesome, obviously. <laughs> um, it is one of my favorite felt games. Uh, I've only, I used to have all these games. Now I've only kept, I think, three or four out of them. And I definitely want to keep this one. Uh, it's a little shame that this one's out of print, but no worries. You can go get your pick for almost nothing and it's the exact same game. If anything, I would prefer the aesthetics to your Vic than this one. The only problem I have with your Vic, it's in a ginormous ticket to ride box, but the components inside will fill up like half of this box. So it's a complete waste of space. And I just have so many games in my collection. I hate having games that waste space. So this is perfect. It's a tiny little box and it has exactly what you need. All right, um, so let's talk a bit about the components before we talk about the game mechanics. They're, I mean, adequate for a 10 year old game. All it is is cards, a pretty ugly board. I'm not gonna lie, it's kind of basic and very ugly. Um, it's just cards. Uh, I did play with the metal coins. Those came with the expan uh, expansion. Uh, the base game comes with the, I guess, cardboard version of the exact same uh, coins. I mean, they're functional, but they're ugly. <laughs> what can you do? And everything else is the cubes. Uh, you sort of have no choice but to make a cubes because you got to put it in a bag and it gets uh, revealed randomly. So unless you're using chits with pictures on them, well, you're stuck with cubes, right? Uh, that's why Jorvik's a little better. Their chits are, are a little better. Um, so there's the components. Nothing to write home about, but this was like a $30 game when it came out. So what can you do? Um, game length is actually really good so no matter how many people you're playing with usually it clocks in at about an hour so it's a really short game um what else can we talk about so let's talk about player count a little bit the game is great at no matter what player count you're playing at right so even if you're five players it's just more cards more things to bid on you can all go on one track you can all spread out you can do whatever you like uh what i will say though is that if you're playing five definitely play with the expansion uh, because you have more cards added to the market if you're playing five without the expansion what's gonna happen is you can end the game with not a lot of cards right so you really have to focus in on exactly what you need and it comes a bit of a not a luck game but it's whoever gets the cards exactly what they need will win and if not you won't win at three players you get a lot more cards so you're a bit more flexible on what you will and will not get and so on and so on so uh, it works at all player counts is fine. I never tried it at two. Maybe one day I'll do it um, Thematic ties. It's not thematic at all. I mean you basically forget the theme as soon as you open the box <laughs> Just just forget about that um, And strategy. Yeah, like I said, so in a three four or five player game uh, At most player counts, you're really just gonna focus in on exactly what you need Like I showed in the playthrough and sort of forget the other stuff There's just certain cards that are just gonna work with your engine and that's it um, so overall, it's a great game, probably my favorite auction game, uh, or because it's not a real aux pure auction game. I guess uh, the Reiner Kinitia games are better than this if you're talking about auctioning pure auctions. But this one has such an awesome twist that we'll probably never see in another game ever again. Uh, I really enjoy it. So there you go. On six, I'll give it a solid five on six. It's one of my favorite felds. I would say go get it, but go get Jorvik because you'll probably get it for less than 20 bucks because it's cheap. Uh, this one will cost you an arm and a leg, so don't waste the money for that one. All right, there you go. So we'll see you in the next one. Later.